my God, that's a wonderful question. And my answer is very simple. They have absolutely no moral authority. Even when, I, I mean, the most beautiful thing, <laughs> I, go to the clips. I was sitting here with you. I think I was sitting here when I said, how can Gashagwa stand up in public and announce that you see what? Yes, we have this outfit. Yes, what is it called? It's called uh, um, this, this, this company we have now where we have two shareholders. And mm -hmm. you see this one, the president is going to take his shares and I'm taking my shares and I'm going to move on and do my thing. And, uh, Ayub, Gashagwa is a consequence of mm -hmm. this dumb system of ours which is broken. That when you take power, when you get elected, what do you fight for? You fight to entrench yourself. You make sure that the argument and the narrative you give is that you come out and start telling your people that you see what, yes, I was getting this power to do what? To make sure that I build you, that I will give you jobs as my community, that I'll make sure that we only get PSS who are from our community. In fact, these elections, and that's why you hear, Kachago is constantly raising and talking about to President William Ruto, you did not win these elections. Yeah. We are the ones who made you win. To me, that is the broken system mm -hmm. we are calling Kenya political matrix. Mm -hmm. All right? And most wonderful, uh, Ayub, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm a Catholic in religion, and um, in Catholicism, we believe in the emancipation of the spirit. I'm yeah. so happy that Gashagwa's spirit has been emancipated. <laughs> He's finally realizing that now the only thing he can do is run to his community and say, whoa, hey, you see they are killing me. I'm your son. I was telling you I was going to bring you the food and the bread. You see they have taken the bread away from my hands and my mouth. I have nothing to offer you now. So please, I'm your son, take care of me. If this system was functional, yeah. If we were good leaders, if we were organizing and making sure that this is a system that should be fair, equitable, and reasonable to everybody, mm -hmm. where Kenyans are given opportunities to share the natural, the national cake, where employment opportunities are publicly put out there and we actually accept meritocracy, where we govern without corruption and these arrangements whereby people are busy sharing the loot, the problem you have, I can tell you the truth, and if Gashawa spoke to me and William did, I would tell them that what they are fighting about is about sharing of the loot. How government contracts, how government tenders, how the Adani group is sharing on their own, and the Gashawa is not involved. So he's saying, I don't know what these people are doing. I don't understand which deal they are doing. It's the loot. You go to all the budgetary appropriations which are there. You see in every, every government department, Ayub, I can come with that document. Here they put two billion, here they put three, here they put four, here they put nine. At the end of it is 90 billion shillings or 100 that is being shared. That is the loot people are sharing. Promotions of police officers, promotions of teachers are being done by who's in office. Mm. What happens to those people who have nobody in office? This is the, the governance structure that we've inherited from independence. Mze Kenyatta fought with Yaramogi. What were they fighting about? It is state resources, the distribution of land after Mau Mau. The war started. What was Moi fighting about with, the, uh, prof with uh, Professor uh, Saitoti? What was he fighting with um, Baki. Kibaki? What was he fighting with uh, the guy who was uh, the chancellor at Nairobi University, Mungai? They are fighting about these people who are saying, please, we can't do it this way. We can't be a people who just go and grab public land. Where you, when you have capacity and power, you go and take other people's land and change the documentation. Right now, Ayub, government land which is owned by our universities is being taken by force. And then these people take this land, and then take those houses and locate themselves, create a new company and go back to the university and tell them, no, you know what, now you rent these houses from us because they are ours. That is why Kiambi was fired. He was saying, what, has, what are you people doing? You have guys who are going to Nairobi West where there's Kirdi land. They are taking uh, Kari land. I mean, this system is so dysfunctional. Yeah. He's so broken down that you now come, then you have Gachagua on the table. Now, Gacha, look at what happened between William and Uhuru. Uhuru was crying, Ooh, William is, is killing me. He's taking over everything. If he becomes president, blah, 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 blah. Look at the war that came up. Look at the scandals that have come out of that. Now come to Gachagua and William. 
they were saying how oh, this thing is wonderful. I was laughing with Rashawa when I was in a funeral where he was. I said, I used to be with you on TV and you would tell me how this government of Uhuru is going home and it's going to be beautiful for you. Then I told him, but you didn't tell me after Uhuru goes home what you would do. <coughs> now you are in the same government. You are telling me exactly the same thing you are telling me about Uhuru. <laughs> you, see, you see what I'm talking about, Ayub? This, now, Gachagua is making noise. I will tell you this today. <laughs> <clears throat> because I'm a political pragmatist, the worst move William Ruto could make, because Gachago has already done what? He's radicalized central. He has told them the food is being taken away. He's told them there what they were entitled yeah. to. That is actually what they offered to President William Ruto okay. has already <clears throat> been taken. So he's telling his people, please, <clears throat> let us figure out a way on how now we are going to do what? To disagree. My request, and I saw our, uh, a member of parliament said wonderful things. I don't know that it was Karungo or somebody said, Mr. President, the, if we start this war, this is only two years after elections. For the next eight years, we are going to be fighting over this issue. Most likely, if you don't watch out, this is how 2007 and 2008 started. Okay. Yes,